Hello, my name is Steven Weigel. Today I'll show you how to play a 12 tone equal tempered guitar in 11 tone equal tempered tuning using a raised bridge. An equal temperament is just a tuning system where the notes are spaced equally in the octave, usually, unless you're talking about tuning systems without octaves, but those tend to be rarer than equal temperaments that do have octaves. 11-tone equal temperament is an interesting tuning because it allows for chord progressions and melodies that sound radically new, at least if you're only used to the piano's tuning. We call such an oral effect xenharmonic. That's an important word that you should know. Alright, so let me first explain the bridge raising hack itself. This method works by sticking something under the bridge and tightening the strings onto it so that the string length effectively becomes shorter. Okay? The higher the bridge is raised, the smaller the octave becomes. There are two great kinds of items to use. The wine cork, here, wine cork, and the oak dowel. Oak dowels come in different sizes and originally they're longer. You have to cut them into pieces. Uh, the wine corks are common on a college campus, which is where I am, because of how much people like wine. Uh, be sure to get these since most people just throw them away even though they're really useful. Okay, and oak dowels are easily and cheaply purchased at your local lumbo yard. They come in different sizes labeled by their diameters inches length. You can see that I've written 7 eighths inches on this one because it's 7 eighths uh, here. So, yeah, that's not how long it is. That's how big the diameter is. So that's this way. Uh, the length would be that. Okay. So, both of these objects will work for 11-tone equal temperament, i.e. their equivalent diameters make them the right height. Uh, a 7 8 diameter oak dowel is basically equal to a wine cork. Let's see, right there. You can even use a larger oak dowel at 1 inch. Here's a 1 inch oak dowel. And a one-inch oak dowel will raise the bridge even higher and get you ten-tone equal temperament. In fact, as long as you have an equal-tempered guitar, differing dowel sizes will get you to that equal temperament and the two below it. So you can play three different equal temperaments for the price of one guitar. Uh, you can play the equal temperament that it was built for, and then the two lower than itself. So for a twelve-tone equal-tempered guitar, you can play twelve, then eleven, and then ten. And you can't quite go to 9, although there are exceptions there. Uh, so, I have not checked extensive size ranges, but this works for my 12 and 19 tone guitars. Uh, with a 19 tone equal tempered guitar, I have to use a 3 fourth inch uh, diameter dowel to play an 18 equal, and a 7 eighths inch dowel, or a wine cork size, to play in 17 equal. If you want to use this for a bass guitar, you easily can, but the standard barefoot wine corks at one and one half inches length will not be long enough to get under all four of the strings, so you just have to use two or find a longer cork. As for the oak dowels, they have the advantage of being able to be cut to different lengths. For guitars, you want to cut it to about two and one half inches length. For bass guitars, about three and one half inches length should work. Now, before I show you how to do this, I'll briefly mention the negative side effects of this trick. There are a few. The most important thing and the most devastating effect is that the error that happens once you're above an octave, that is to say, frets above our chosen tuning's octave, they do a gradually worse and worse job approximating the chosen tuning as you get higher. Uh, now within one octave from the open string, you'll be fine. But when you get above the octave, things start getting farther and farther off. Another disadvantage is that the higher bridge will cause the strings to sit higher on the neck. Thus, 
the player has to press down harder and at slightly different angles to play. If you are using an electric guitar, the cork slash dowel can interfere with the pickups near the bridge of the guitar, meaning that this technique is more idiomatic for guitars that only have one pickup away from the bridge. These are usually jazz guitars. When the pickup is interrupted, it reduces the potential volume by quite a bit, and there seem to be some odd electrical things that happen. For example, when I clasp the strings at the bridge with my finger, the sound seems to go away. So I don't think that's normal, but I don't know if it's caused by the cork slash dowel interfering. All right, so let's go over how to do this. It's pretty easy. First, unwind the bottom string until it's very loose. So I've already sort of done that, but here's what that would look like. So just detune it. Now it's so loose that I can't even play any pitch. Okay, so as you unwind with one hand, I'm unwinding, pull up on the bridge with the other hand or on the string part closest to the bridge so that there's room, see, now there's room to stick the cork slash dowel underneath like so. I'm using the dowel because it can go all the way across. So I've got it right in there and I've pulled up here so that there's room to stick this under. And you probably want it pretty close to the bridge because otherwise you can get a stretched octave. Okay, so stick it under that first string to keep it there and tighten it part of the way but not all the way. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to just sort of hold this here. There we go, that's probably good enough. Now repeat this process with the second string, but just slide the cork slash dowel underneath it so that it remains under both strings. So, I'm pulling the string up, see? So that I can get it over and then I'm gonna slide this under. Okay. And then just continue this process until all of the strings have the cork slash dowel under them. Now, you can tighten the strings. So now I'm going to tighten all the strings to make sure that this stays here. It stays right there. Okay, so now hopefully you can see that my octave is 11 frets, yeah, and not 12. And the octave can end up a little bit stretched or smaller. So here, I'm going to check mine, maybe a little small, not too bad. Ooh, that one sounds a little high. Yeah, so you can see that the cork is slightly angled because it's harder to fit it more under the heavier string, but you actually probably want to do that so that the octave doesn't get sharp. Now that I got it all put together, let's check the strings. So I have it tuned in 11 tone, perfect force for the first three strings. And then I have a minor third here. And then I have another perfect fourth. Of course, there aren't really any fourths. And then I have a super major third here. So the open strings sound like this. Which I'm here is. Very, very muddy. Okay, let's go through the strings here. Alrighty, let's go through the strings here.
the next one. strings can be in tune with one cork. Uh, I had a little bit of a problem with the bottom string. I had to wiggle it just right to get it to behave with the stretched octave, but all the other strings did a pretty good job. Alright, so now you have everything you need to play 11 tone equal tempered music. If you're a guitarist who likes new things, you have no excuse not to try this. No extra electronics required, cheap material, great results. I predict that microtonal guitars will be the way forward for future harmony, zen harmonics, you know, and this video will tell you why. Why not jump on the bandwagon before everyone else beats you to it? For more microtonal guitar resources, check the description. I've included a lot of resources there, and hey, please tell me or message me if I missed any important resources so that I can add them. To close, Here's a song I wrote for 11 tone equal tempered guitar because May 2017 is 11 tone equal temperament.